Good morning. It's day six. Um, haven't pulled out the camera much because it's freezing. It's freezing last night. Um, I think it's the coldest night I've ever had outside because both of my water bottles froze. They had half a liter of clean water and half a liter of dirty water. They both froze. Thankfully, I had my Sawyer filter in a Ziploc in my sleeping bag, but it's still so like, did it freeze? I don't know, because my feet, even though they were inside my sleep system, were so cold. Um, so, who knows, because if the Sawyer filter freezes, then it's no good. Oh, there's a nice little view right here. Maybe I'll show you. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, so I left the shelter around 8. Um, and I'm either going 18 and a half miles today or like... 23 and a half miles today. Uh, just depending on how I feel and when I hit the shelter. And then tomorrow I'll get all the way into the NOC regardless of which shelter I choose today. So that's good. Um, my hand is freezing, waiting for my water to thaw. I haven't had anything to eat or drink this morning. So my mouth's all like dry. I could have stopped at a stream and used my bladder to get some water, but I'm not motivated. So hopefully my water melts quickly. Um, more later. is like lined with these icicles. So cool and pretty. Oh. There's like a bunch more. Whoa. Oops. <clears throat> he is on both sides this morning. It's nice. warmed up enough to de -layer. It's feeling so nice outside. I mean, I still have my one layer on, but I had my down puffy on and my rain jacket and my wool buff <laughs> and a second pair of gloves. So I was really layered up. Actually, I have um, two pant layers on underneath the rain pants. So the bottoms aren't de-layered yet, but my legs are pretty warm. Probably do that soon. I just kind of forgot to do it when I took that first set of layers off. I'm having a little <clears throat> um, energy shot by Cliff that has 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. Doesn't taste that good. I had one that was like cherry chocolate caffeine and that was really good. But the last place had these, which I was really glad but they didn't have the chocolate ones, which I like a little bit more, but I was gonna make coffee this morning, but then my water was frozen. So I've finally drank some water. It has turned into ice water and I'm crunching on some ice out here, which is a new experience. <laughs> um, yeah, but having this, it's already like a little after 10. Just, I don't know, mornings are pretty slow going for me, I think. I'm just like waking up a little bit stiff, just meandering a bit. But <clears throat> I think my miles get faster and more determined as the day goes on. So we'll see what today holds, has in store. Um, I 
when I got to the shelter last night, there were two other people sleeping already, but I got to talk to one of them this morning. She hiked out before me and I had met her at Around the Bend Hostel. Um, Allison, she's super nice and it was, we walked and chatted for a while. Um, so that was pretty cool. She's going into Franklin today. Going into Franklin was part of my like original plan, but then once I spent so much time at Around the Bend Hostel, I was like, well, I can just pack out like an extra day and a half of food and then make it all the way to NOC. So that's like not a holla outdoor center um, at mile 136. So I think I'm going to do that instead of going to Franklin. I should be getting to the road crossing for Franklin pretty soon. But I think I'm going to skip it and if I just do around 20 today, around 20 tomorrow, I'll have like less than 10 or something tomorrow or hmm. no, it was around 20 today and then it'll be a Nero, like around 10 or less or 15. Actually, it could even be up to 16. <sighs> yeah, so <sighs> that was really confusing. I'll tell you about the mileage stuff later. Okay, I made it to Winding Stair Gap and I'm not going into town. So, <sighs> but it's a, it is a beautiful day to hike. So I feel good about that decision. You know, it's not like crazy fog and stuff. So hopefully it's just a really nice day. I still need to get water. So I'll probably do that soon. My mouth is kind of dry. I've been like shaking up my eyes and <laughs> trying to, am I even on the, yeah, I'm on the trail. It's like the side of the road for a minute, but at least it's in the, like not on the road. Ah, I'm gonna cross over right up here. But yeah, I was hoping for some trail magic, but I still haven't gotten any. So that's okay. I'm so early in the season that yeah, it's... Mm. Who knows? I think that's why. <sighs> wow, look at this amazing little cascading waterfall. Wow. Wow. Birds are finally out. The past two foggy days have had so few birds, but I just saw a few. So that's exciting. Look how amazing this looks. Vegan cheese, vegan deli meat, and shredded broccoli on a English muffin. Yum. I'm so happy I started packing out food like this. It's been really nice. So. <laughs> okay, so I just took a nice long lunch break. It's 12.45 now. I have like 13.7 miles to the shelter I wanna make it to. Um, and if I average two and a half miles an hour, which seems doable today. I think there's a, a few steep climbs, but hopefully nothing too challenging. <laughs> um, then I should be there in like five and a half hours. So again, right around sunset or right after sunset. <clears throat> so hopefully, yeah, it all goes well. 
Whew, so there's a little side trail that goes up to the top of that bald. It's supposed to be really beautiful. It's a perfect day for it, but I still have miles to make, so I'm gonna press on. I've gone 11 and a half so far. So around 10, I think, to go. And it is 135. to the top of this climb. Still have 0.5 to go, but it kind of came from down there. It's hard to tell, but I'll show you where I'm going. Whew, half a mile of steep trail up. Ooh. So. Whew. Okay. Oh, there's why I bald, I think. Oh, look. Yeah. Whew. Cool. Guess I'll go up there. So where did you stop? Wow, this view is amazing. This is amazing. Oh. <laughs> Sunny today. So it's beautiful. Off, Gorgeous. Great. Yeah, 360 views. Whew. Wow. Why a bald is so beautiful. It really is. <laughs> <sighs> Almost the camp. I still probably have to toss my headlamp on before I'm actually there, but the trail's been nice and smooth and pretty easy going, gradual. So just really enjoying this evening and listening to music and dancing <laughs> and just loving the weather and the sun and just everything feels really good right now. Almost at my last climb. Sunset is looking gorgeous. It's hard to tell, but this whole hillside is covered in golden light as the sun is setting. And I'm just missing from the shelter, which is like right up there, minutes away. So hopefully, I catch some of it. <clears throat> oh, a tiny shelter. No one's here. Kind of a bummer. Um, but it's literally like right off the trail. <laughs> wow. Making dinner. Having a chocolate. Mm. Mushroom risotto. I've never had this brand, but mm, trying it. Um, 
Nope. I'm getting nice and dark outside. <clears throat> so I think that's going to be it for day eight. Um, thank you so much for watching. It was overall such a great day. Super beautiful. It warmed right up. and oh, I'm so thankful. I made it 23 miles. I started at 8 a.m. and I got here like right as the sun was setting. It was totally perfect. So, yeah, and my body's feeling good and excited to get into town tomorrow. Um, I'll hit um, Natahala Outdoor Center. Um tomorrow hopefully early so thanks again for watching bye